Hi, welcome to Guru Focus. This is the second episode of Mastering the Guru Focus site, a series designed to be your one-stop starting point to learn your way around at gurufocus.com. This episode is called Screeners Galore. We will be going over the various screeners available on the site, how to use them and how to customize them, with a focus on common issues that new users often experience. Under the Screeners tab, the first option is the ever-popular all-in-one screener. This build your own screener option allows for incredible versatility when searching the market for stocks that meet your criteria. The screening criteria are organized under various tabs, but if you're not sure what to find something under, you can always go back to the all tab and control F to find what you're looking for. So let's look for the PE ratio. We find it here. So let's look for stocks with a price earnings ratio of 10 to 15. And let's also screen by market cap. We want a market cap of at least 50 billion. Full disclosure here, these are just random screening criteria for demonstration purposes, not a real investment strategy suggestion. Uh, if you want to narrow your results to a specific region, you can go to the regions tab here and say if you are only wanting to look at stocks from the NASDAQ for some reason, you could come in here and deselect all categories except the NASDAQ. Uh, for this example, we'll look at the New York Stock Exchange only. And that's how you sort by region. So we'll go down here and look at our results. And if you want to save this screener, you would actually go back up to the top here and see where it says temp screen. You hit save next to it and you can name your screener. It's a example. And you can add a note if you want. And you can make it choose to make it public as well. And so make sure to hit save and it will save your screen so that you can go back later under my screens and view it example and then you can hit the little trash icon to delete it if you really want and so you might have also noticed that there's a category called display view under here what's that well the view should not be mistaken for the screener criteria. In addition to the screening criteria, you can also change up your view, which the screening criteria will only show stocks that meet the specific criteria you specify, but the views, the views will show the specific metric for all of the stocks that meet your screening criteria. So say if you wanted to see the 10-year net income growth rate for all of the stocks that meet your screening criteria. You could enter it here and select it and it'll show up a separate category with your view viewing criteria. And side note, if you click on the little gray box, you can sort your results by that specific criteria in ascending or descending order. Now to save your view, you can go to temp view here and select the edit that's next to temp view. And you can change the name of your view to whatever you want. You can also add a note here as well and save. One important thing to note is that if you want to save multiple views in the same session, say if you also wanted to search for the 10-year revenue growth rate as well, and you wanted to save that as a separate view, you'll have to make sure to go in under Edit and not only rename it, but also save as New View instead of just Save, because if you just click Save instead of Save as New View, it will replace your previously saved view with the new view and it'll do the same thing for the screener as well. In addition to the all-in-one screener, we also have various preset screeners. 
for example, our popular Buffett Munger screener, which is based on uh, various screening criteria of Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, as well as things like like Joel Greenblatt's Magic Formula screener, fast growers, CEO buys, insider buys, that sort of thing. That's all for this video. Next week we'll be diving into history with the back testing feature, so stay tuned. If you want to see more from Guru Focus, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or find us on social media. Thanks for watching.